Hi, I'm Sarah Marzi and I'm a group leader at the UK DRI at King's College London. Um, my research group works on epigenetics and that's how genes are regulated, whether they are expressed, when they're expressed, how much of them is expressed. Um, we're interested in studying this because we want to understand how both environmental risk factors and genetic risk can cause neurodegenerative diseases. For a lot of these diseases, we don't quite understand why some people get them and others don't. We know some of the genetic mutations, but a large part of disease is caused by a more complex interplay between the genetics and the environment you're exposed to over your life course. And how that then drives disease in different cell types in your brain is still a big mystery. And so we study regulatory mechanisms in these brain cell types, um, in the human brain and also in animal models to understand how the genetics and how the environment changes regulatory programs in these cells and predisposes them to disease. So in the past, I've worked a lot on Alzheimer's disease, and one of the really big findings in the field of the recent years has been that it's the immune cells in our brains that actually contribute to disease a lot. So for many decades, people have worked on neurons because the neurons die in the disease. And so everyone thought it must be the neurons that are causing the disease. But it turns out actually when you look at the genetics and the risk variants associated with the disease, we find that they lie in regions of the genome that are specifically active in immune cells of the brain and not in neurons. And so people have been really interested in microglia, the immune cells of the brain in recent years, and trying to understand how they might generally protect your brain, but how they can sometimes go into sort of overdrive and start to harm and damage other cells in the brain um, and thereby cause and uh, make disease worse. What we're doing is really fundamental discovery. Um, in a way, you could think it's frustrating because there's so little we know about the actual causes of these disease, but equally, it's fascinating. Um, and I'm intrinsically so curious about finding out what is driving these diseases, because once we can pinpoint that, um, we can really make leap ways in coming up with targeted therapies. If we understand the cells and the mechanisms that are driving the disease, then we can start to target them. And so I think that's what I'm most excited about.